Hello everyone, Abdul Hamid here with another After Effects tutorial. Hope everyone is doing fine. Today I am going to go through one of the most requested animation tutorial on this channel. I am going to teach you guys how I created my own intro. I have been really busy these past couple of months so I won't be going into much of the details of the animation. I'll just share the basic idea and the concept of the intro. On your screen you are now watching the original intro of the channel. But this is what we will create today. I know it's not exactly the same but using this tutorial I'm pretty sure you can achieve this intro. So let's get into it. Create a new composition, I'm going with 1080p 60 frames per second. Create a new solid for background. Now click on the text tool and write something in the composition. I'm going to change the color and then scale it. And then align the text to the center of the frame using the align tab on the right. If you cannot see the align tab, just go to the windows tab up here and check align if it's unchecked. Now using the pan behind tool, move the anchor point to the center. As you can see we have only 5 letters in Luna so we are going to make 5 copies of this text layer by using the shortcut Ctrl plus D. Now what we are going to do is just leave single letter in each layer and remove the rest. So I forgot to create a reference layer that would help us place all the letters in their proper position. So let's create that. I'm gonna duplicate one of the layers again and make a reference layer with all the letters. Now what I'm gonna do is align each letter to the center using the align tab. So this is the part we start animating each letter. I'll start with the letter L. For that I'm going to pre-comp the L letter. Double click on the pre-comp. Now lower composition resolution to fit the letter in. I'm going to make a mask like this on the letter L so I have a vertical rectangle. Now duplicate the layer. and create a horizontal mask like this. Now what we have done here is we have split the letter L into two different layers. Now we can play with them separately. I'm going to put the anchor point at the bottom Then animate the scale property. Go 30 or 40 frames ahead and create a keyframe. And then come back to the initial frame. Uncheck this thing and turn down the Y axis value to 0. Now select both keyframes and right click. Go to keyframe assistant and select easy ease. Now do the same with the other layer but on X axis.
now we are done with the letter L animation now let's go back to our original composition next thing is we are going to pre comp the letter U layer resize the composition for this one I'm going in a different direction I'm going to use a shape layer deselect everything on the timeline and select pen tool draw a shape like this make sure to turn off the fill because we only need stroke Increase the stroke value until it fully covers the black U. Now go to the shape layer and add a trim path to it. I'm going to animate it like it starts from the middle. You can animate it however you see fit. Now make sure the U text layer is below the shape layer. Now we are going to use the track mat. If you don't see the track mat on your timeline just click on this little button and it will appear. Now change the track mat to alpha mat and we are done with the animation of U layer. Now it's the same process you have to repeat for all the letters. I'm going to fast forward it so you can see what I'm doing with the other letters. At the end when we are done with the animation of each letter, place them in their place by using the reference layer. So that's why we created the reference layer.
and make sure the motion blur is on for each layer and each animation now create a null layer that will control the letters parent all the layers to the null hide the reference layer because we don't need it anymore as you can see on your screen all the letters animates in at the same time so we don't want that let's make them come one by one by moving each layer ahead accordingly so what I've done here is I've kept 20 frames gap between them you can do whatever you want with your one you can keep 10 frames gap or 30 frames gap whatever you think is best for you now let's add a bit of animation to the null layer move it to the right side and create a keyframe for position now move ahead on the timeline and move the null layer back to the center again Play with the timing duration and everything until you find the movement perfect. So that's it. That is the basic idea behind the Luna Studios intro. I hope with the help of this tutorial you guys can come up with more creative and a better animation. So that's it for today. I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope it's soon. Until then take care of yourself, your loved ones and pray for me, yourself and everyone else.